Well, as per usual, it's windy here in Nebraska. As per usual, we've had terrible, terrible winds for a bunch of days, right? Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is actually the latest. Yeah. A bunch of days. We've had a bunch of wind. It's not been fun, but whatever. But we're finally bringing you the video. We're finally doing work. Turkey guns. Turkey targets. Turkey loads. Not a huge variety, but uh, we're not going to put a bunch of different TSS loads, so some Winchester long beards and different shot sizes and some uh, uh, shell length. That's all 12s. It's that old Super X stuff that they still make for some reason. And that's all 20s, long beard XR, double X, and yeah, number 7s, TSS Federals. So uh, that little stand over there is 30. We're going to have to make one for 50. That's all right, just to get some good patterning. We've got a couple shotguns today. We're going to be testing slash sighting in uh, this is a Mossberg 500 20 gauge youth model uh, Tyler uh, he's not with us today he's got a prior engagement but um, he's a big bow hunter as y'all know but I convinced him to kill a turkey this year with a shotgun and we're going to Valentine together a bunch of us two weeks yep all four plainsmen will be there. Brandon will be there, Tyler will be there, Nate obviously lives there, and I'll be there. And we are going to knock some turkeys in the face. So, I love this. I, his dad has three of them. There, his dad's a big coyote hunter, runs dogs and stuff. And I just put a, I had an extra. So I'll put a long beard XR, a Carlson's long beard XR. That will focus 568 constriction. Uh, it worked great in this. This is my Stevens 301 in a 20 gauge, but I put an Indian Creek 555 on it because Indian Creek's the best. Change my mind. Uh, so we're gonna pattern that thing um, and uh, see if it's good and on point. That's my little 20 gauge setup. Uh, I killed a bird last year at 54 yards with this. This is a cheap little red dot. It's like a Fiachi or something. It's not anything amazing, uh, but it was a last minute kind of deal. Uh, something I needed, I needed it and didn't have enough money to, at the time, put a red dot on there worth salt. Now for the real guns with the real red dots here. Although I, will, I love this 20. I love 20s, 20s are the future. I haven't used any. I think I'm gonna try them out this year. Yes! Yeah, that's what I was telling him earlier. I said, you know, it's funny. We're going to be at the cabin. I said, one day I might grab one of your 20s <laughs> when we go out just to see. Oh, yeah. I'm 54 yards of that thing, and he was dead dead. Not like kind of. He was dead. Super dead. Uh, with heavyweight Federal TSS number 7s. So uh, we're going to I put this new attachment on here. You can see that. Basically a shell holder made by... Uh, I forget who makes it, but uh, yeah, it's just a 3D printed piece of plastic that snaps onto your P-rail up here. So I had to move that forward a little bit to get to fit, so we might have to, I'm sure it'll be fine, but we'll see if it held zero or not. It being a cheaper red dot, and I moved it, so we'll just see. Now for the two 12s. We are Mossberg guys. We don't spend a lot of money on $1,000 shotguns. That's just not us. Well, on turkey guns, that is. I will say that on turkey guns. They get beat up so bad. Oh, yeah. There's no point, you know. Get it patterned good, and then let's move on. So, this is my gun. This is a Mossberg 500 uh, with a Burris Fast Fire 3. Yeah, baby, on there. And an Indian Creek, I believe. That's okay. I, think, I believe it's a... 670. We might actually take it out and put it on his gun. I want to see how it does on him. He's got a Mossberg. It's an 835 uh, Ultimag. Uh, he's got a Bushnell RX100 RX 100 red dot on here. 
and you're running what is that six uh, it's carlson's long beard right xr yeah. yeah and i think it's what six seven or six eight three. six eighty three so we are going to pattern these things shoot them up use a lot of targets hopefully not too much ammo because turkey you know especially at tss uh yeah three boxes three boxes five rounds a box 148 bucks so we're not going to shoot a lot of that uh but uh that'll be the last okay we're patterned good with this we're going to do every with all the other stuff so uh it's funny though because i bought um that super x yesterday well two days ago i went to uh one of our big sporting goods stores around here and uh, not Cabela's and uh, 11 bucks a box for that and I was like yeah I'm buying that and then I ended up accidentally grabbing a box of 20 gauge double X which I thought was 12 gauge because I wanted to I wanted to do a the progression because you know they went from the, the, what is it, the Super X to the double X to the XR I wanted to see which one actually works good because I was having issues last year with mine. I've got a really wide pattern on it. And I don't know if it's because it's that multi mag. It's got a wide bore and mm -hmm. it just shakes down. And yeah. I, I don't know if that's throwing it off or what. We'll just I, have to see. Yeah. See what's. Yeah, because they chambered it up. They made the multi mag. You know, how many already decades ago to compete with ten gauges back when those were still kind of popular for goose hunters and turkey hunters and stuff. So I don't know. Yeah, that's interesting. We'll have to see what that does. I'm sure it's great for goose and ducks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll just have to see what it likes better or what it likes pattern better, you know, and, just, and go with that. And also, we're going to test something else today. We're going to test the fact that this, this rumor, this theory that people have been saying that old, older sh shells of Longbeard XR pattern worse. The exact same shell length, same shot size pattern worse than new ones something about the resin inside the uh in the wad that goes bad or something so i've got some last year and brand new this year i've bought same so, shot so okay. we're gonna see before we shoot it though i think i have a, a theory okay because like i've seen a lot of people talk about it and i think what they're doing is they're storing it and i think maybe they're not storing it in ideal situations and some maybe some mm. of the humidity is getting to it that could be it um because honestly i just i don't see how sitting yeah i don't know how the resin how, just like how sitting in a quote, safe quote. or in an ammo can to make a difference in six months to eight months. right because yeah. those shells sit on the shelf for or in a factory for how long before they're growing? oh yeah exactly so it's, it's, i don't know what does that to see we're gonna find out we're, we'll talk about it when we do it and then we'll get our Maybe my opinion will change. <laughs> Hopefully, they're the exact same, and yeah. we prove these people wrong. Yeah, because I got in a lot terms of, of good storage, we prove them wrong. Yeah, because I have a, a lot of last year's shells so. still. Yeah, I do too. I mean, hey, when you don't miss, yeah, <laughs> or you don't have the opportunity, or the upper. Sorry, too soon, <laughs> too soon. No, it's been a year. It has been a year. <laughs> so uh, also, I have to sight that sucker in because I got a new fast fire. I put, I took the old one off and I put it on one of my pistols. I ended up selling that pistol with the fast fires. So I had to put a new one on there. Same place, but new new sight. So we'll just have to make sure it's at the zero that one. So anyway, guys, we are going to get started and start throwing copper plated lead <laughs> or uh, tungsten super shot. We're going to do it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the Mossberg 520 gauge youth model that we're going to pattern for Tyler. Got a GoPro down there, and uh, we're at 20 yards. We're just going to see what kind of, this is just a Fiocchi uh, number nine shot target load for, uh, I use them for shooting clays and stuff. So we're just going to get an idea, shoot a regular circle target, see what kind of pattern we get here, just to make sure we're on, and then we'll mix onto the turkey stuff. So let's get an idea here with iron sights fiber optics technically wow that hurt surprisingly okay let's go take a look well uh 
we're still patterning up here. It's still high. So, okay, we're, our, our main pattern's right there. It's tight. It's, you know, it's probably a, a 10 inch circle with a few flyers. Uh, so, okay, well, we will put uh, something else through it and see if that will bring her down. I doubt it, but we'll see if that's the problem. And we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna see if the patterning is if it's patterning high or shooting high because of me, which I don't think it was because it was the exact same place. So I think it was the gun. These fiber optics, I I don't know how to adjust these. Uh, I know to fix the problem, and that's to mount a red dot on here. That's the solution. But. Uh, Tyler's not done this with a shotgun, and this is his, you know, so we're going to, we'll, we'll see what we can convince him to do later down the road. But anyway, we're going to see, just, just for craps and giggles, we've got tons of double X, uh, number fives, so we're going to do that, and, and even in a 20, these are not fun, they hurt, so here's the information right here, uh, these, and these are from last year, whoa, uh, so these are copper plated, Copper plated lead shot. Uh, it is 20 gauge, three inch, 1200 feet per second. Uh, number five shot, 15th, 16th ounce. So we'll see. Throw that down through there. And we'll see what, uh, how about she hurts here. All right, fiber optic, here we go. Oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. Hurts so good. That's hot. All right, well, we're clear and we're safe. Okay, so guys, this gun is patterning high and right up here, right in this general vicinity. So we're going to, uh, I don't know how to adjust those fiber optics. I, I, don't, I just don't know how. You're gonna aim here. I mean, yeah, you could just aim low and left I guess uh, so we'll see we'll uh, we'll shoot at the we'll shoot at this target here at the turkey target uh, with a longbeard XR we'll see what that does so this is longbeard XR 20 gauge and five shot one and a quarter ounce so quite a bit more shot in here thousand feet per second number five so we're gonna try this all right here we go I'm gonna aim uh, low, left. low and left, right at the back of that, in your, in your GoPro view right now that you can see on your screen, insert now, you can see the little tuft behind his neck, I'm going to aim right there, and put that right in the center there, alright, here we go. Okay, now that's pretty good, but you got to own, you got to aim. So as we can see, there's some, you know, a few flyers, some right here, the, 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 the center of the shot was kind of, you know, that's a lot wider than I would have hoped it's about, yeah. at 20 yards. We can do a, we can do a shot count if we want, see what it kind of looks like, but uh, yeah. So I aimed, normally, normally on a turkey, I would aim right here. This is where I would aim. I aim where the feathers meet the wall. Uh, and it gives you, especially when you're up close, if you're really close, you'll just chop his head off. And if you're further away, it gives you wide enough pattern in here that you can get noggin throw all the way up the spinal right here. So I aimed here. And we, the, main, the main pattern was here, right in this area here. So yeah, you just have to aim low. But let's push her to 50. You want to push her to 50? I say we push her to 50. Oh, I lied earlier, guys. Double X is 1 and 5 16th ounce, not 15 16th ounce. I read that wrong. So, uh, it's actually got 1 16th more ounces than. So, we're going to go to that. We're going we're gonna to just see what it does at 50. Just, 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 just for fun. Just to see. Probably gonna be really bad. 
especially with double X. I, I really, really, guys, don't want to use this. I really don't want to use this as much as I can because it's super expensive. So, I, and I really want to use it for my 20 gauge to see how well it patterns with the new Indian Creek. So, here we go. GoPro's about dead. It's a good day. It's a good day. All right, here we go. Wow, that is extremely low. Pretty bad. 50 yards with that, pretty rough. I mean, he might have been a dead bird. He had two nice shots in, you know, one in the brain, one in the spine, all the spine there. But other than that, I can see, I can see there's not a lot of force behind him. I can see some shells, some shot in here. They're not going very far in this wood. So, I mean, someone up here, up there. Yeah, it was not a good shot. Well, that combination is probably not a 50 yard gun. And I know what a lot of y'all are saying. Well, just be a better hunter. Well, you know, sometimes turkeys don't want to work, and uh, I'm, I'd rather kill him good at 50 than be able to call him into 20 every time. I'd rather be lucky than good any day of the week. But so that's interesting. All right, I think we have enough to go on. Yep. Okay. All right. So my turn. We're gonna give Kyle a break. Uh -huh. My shoulder! <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna see if my red dot's on from last year. I'm gonna use this uh, the Super X 5 shot, 3 inch, 1200 velocity, 1 and 7 8 ounce. So I'm gonna just make sure my red dot's on. Because these are a lot cheaper than XR. <clears throat> Yeah, I'd say it's on. Yeah. We'll go look. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'd say it's on. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I mean, I don't know. It might be this is my low. first time shooting shotguns at targets, but I don't know. I'd say that's... Yeah, but at 50, that's going to be dead, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I was being okay. It actually pushed it back. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> Do you like our targets, guys? Yeah. We actually bought these at www.scrapyard.com. Scrapyard.gov. Yeah, because that's all they got. No, edu. Edu. That's right. For educational purposes. Now. So I'm going to shoot a, should I shoot a XR? Yeah. Oh. All right. yeah, you should. Hey, how about how about this? How about we do the exact same? Now that we know it's on, how about we shoot the same? Put two turkey targets up, and shoot the same. Do a compare, a side by side comparison. Number five last year, number five this year. Okay. See what they see. So uh, we're gonna do a comparison. We put two turkey targets. Last year's XR out of the vest, and. This year's brand new rounds Kyle bought, and we're gonna see if there's a difference. These literally, no, mine sat in a vest all year round. I don't know where these sit. These in sat, a vest. He sat in a vest in a closet all year round. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is number five XR, one and three quarter ounce, 1,200 feet per second. Which side? No, I'm gonna shoot left. Left first. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> just go ahead and shoot the other one. Yeah, yeah, just go ahead. Yeah, might as well compare them. That's last year's shot. Yeah, that's last year's shot. Wow, holy crap, that's so bad. And it's right The resin goes bad very quickly. And that's right where I aim. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, the shot is just, oh. Uh... All right, brand new 2022 shell. Brand new. Okay. 
Now this one's this one's gonna be way better. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, how. it's gonna be. I don't even know if we'll be able to tell the difference. Oh, it kicked more. Okay, let's go see the difference. I don't know if there's much of a difference. Oh, there's a huge difference. One's a baseball, and one's another baseball. <clears throat> All right, kids, what's the difference here? <laughs> Sorry, get the camera here. I mean, I don't know. That one punched a hole literally through the target. That one punched a hole. And this one punched it a bigger hole. Same, well, same, same, same size hole as the target. That one just had more holes in the yes. wood. Um. Yeah, yeah, it's super bad to use old Longbeard XR shots. Yeah. Stupid argument. I don't, yeah. Those are literally the same. Yeah, and they weren't even stored properly. No. They were in a vest in a closet. Yeah. Room. That right there. Gosh, this sign is widening out this video, at least on the viewfinder. Uh, that right there is last year's shells sitting in my vest in a closet, okay? Not in, in a basement closet. Not even like a good closet. <laughs> that is brand new. Bought it this year at shells a month ago. Okay. Number one. Number two. I say my red dot's still on. Yeah, I think you're good. Yeah, so I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna please the people anymore. So I'm I'm done last year's show. I'm done with that. This is uh yeah, cause that right there is stupid. Why are we even comparing it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Just to prove people Just to wrong. Prove people, I guess. Because I I'm a child. So. so I'm I'm done. This is I'm done saying this is last year's or two years or this is XR five shot three inch one and three quarter 1200 feet per second and i'm gonna poke it at 50 and see how it goes so again we apologize for the wind it's terrible yeah we're hey i'd rather it be bad weather now and great weather when we go that's true so, and it feels great like the I temperature's mean, yeah. great it's like 60 degrees yeah. it's really nice out but yeah yep. it's just windy as i'll get out so all right i'm gonna poke it See what we got. 50 yards. low and right it's all right that's a dead oh, I bird was aiming right here that's a dead bird so i may have pulled it because of that bench because it hurts my elbows <laughs> that's a dead bird yeah 50 so yards that's a that's the carlson long beard xr choke mossberg five what was the construction six what would you say six 85. 685. Yeah. 685. That's the 835 Ultimag. Mossberg 835. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and a bunch more. 25 and shot, pulled. number fives. And I pulled it. In, in, in the neck region i'm satisfied now this now i mean yeah yeah i think you might have pulled it because that's a big chunk of the shot yeah. right there but but i was aiming here and then with my elbows on that wood, yeah very I, well I pulled a little to the right i feel and wind blowing like crazy it's not as bad right here but over there coming around the truck it's pretty bad i'm not gonna make excuses but 
That's probably still a dead bird. Probably pulled it, especially since at 20 it was it literally the, where the, the dot, dot was. I mean, on the dot. So, yeah, we're, I'm just going to tribute that. To so yeah, it. I like it. I'm satisfied. Ready for Valentine's. So you're ready. I'm ready. You're ready. All right. Redemption. Redemption time. Two years. Two years. We have been unsuccessful here with you. Well, the first year, I don't know, we had talked about the backstory any? Sure. So the first year of turkey season, I literally probably moved here. Let's get out of the wind and talk yeah, about Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I moved here about two months before turkey season. Or, no, I moved in the beginning of turkey season. So I didn't get settled and all that until like halfway through turkey season. And so Kyle and I really, we only went out what, a lot together the last two weeks of that season of 2019. Mm -hmm. No, 2020. 2020, that's right. And then last year, 2021, Kyle did a lot of traveling. I did a lot of solo hunting last year. Um, and I saw some stuff, I just couldn't, I'm not confident in my calling. So, and I think having Kyle next to me brings them in better. So, but we had that one Tom come in and then he, it was late season and he didn't like it. The, we had two, two or three hens come down, start beating up on the decoys. He come around the cedar, saw what was going on and scattered. So yeah, two seasons, no birds. So season three, let's see how it goes. Yeah, we're gonna do it. 50 yards so all right so uh this is the old baby here this is the uh my mossberg 500 uh i've had it for years and years since i was a gosh i don't know my parents dad got me this for one christmas and it's one of those combo ones you know it has a field barrel comes with it and this uh 22 22 inch it's either 20 or 22 inch turkey barrel uh, for that Indian Creek 670 constriction on there and uh, mount and a Burris Pacifier 3. But this is a new Burris, so we're just going to, same model, just, just a new Burris. So uh, we're going to, I forgot, you know, target field 12 gauge shot. So we're just going to shoot this cheap Winchester Super X. It's going to be painful, but it it's okay because it's like $11 a box. So whatever. Uh, all right, so let's just do it. See, I've, I've I've moved it to where it I think it needs to be, close to where it needs to be. So we'll uh, yeah, we'll just give this a tighten just to make sure. Yeah, as tight as she'll go. All right, here we go. Pain, here we go pain. All right, let's just. Okay, that was uh, low right, low right, and I would hate to see the camera footage on that because I bet I flinched hard. <laughs> All right, so we need to move her up. Yeah. I think you're just a hair right. Still. Yeah. Just, yeah. It might have been the way. So you this Burris Fastfire 3, you guys, doesn't actually have physical clicks that you hear or feel, but it's got an it's got an arrow notch because it's a micro, so it's got. I'll just show you over there, but it's basically got. Uh, 
it's got an arrow on the actual on the uh, on the actual uh, part you maneuver, and then it's kind of like a like a clock dial where it's got hash marks all the way around. So as you can see, there's a little tiny arrow right there, and like a clock dial, but it's really tight, like it doesn't move at all. So that's kind of how they work, but they don't really have a very physical, audible click. Uh, a lot of people wouldn't like that, but doesn't bother me. So let's just go ahead and go to the, the XR here. I'm pretty sure it should be on. Just if I quit, if I just quit being a baby. Oh my gosh! I mean, I've shot a lot of shotguns today. Yeah, you shot. More I mean, than to be fair, I that, shot four rounds. You shot. <laughs> yeah, give me one of those with the pet yeah. shoulder. I'll get you one. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I don't, even think, old time. <laughs> I don't even think I need to shoot this at 20 because I just all I did was move it just a hair. You want me to turn it up? I'm just going to go ahead and put one at 50. Let's see what it does at 50. I moved it back the, the left and right just a hair. Maybe at 20 I need to aim more at his face. Maybe that's what I need to do at 20. Because at 50 it might be. Oh, that feels pretty good. For now. See what it looks like. Afterwards, we'll video my shoulder tomorrow. <laughs> Is it bruising already? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I think that's actually not as tight of a pattern as yours. Would you just say? <laughs> What I said was, I think it's not as tight a pattern as yours. <laughs> can, you, can you say that for the camera work? As long as it's on camera, it's fine. That is interesting. But I was aiming right here. I might have pulled a little, and I did move it back to the right a little. It's still a dead bird. So, I mean, yeah, but maybe, maybe I need to be aiming, you know. That, technically, I should be aiming right here, not right there. I should be aiming here. But let's go look at the we'll figure it out. That's confusing. I don't know. I don't understand. That looks like my target from last year. Either, either the pattern is way down here. I don't know. I don't know. That e looks like my targets from last year. Either the pattern is way down here or 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 that's bad. <laughs> this is not what my patterns looked like last year at 50 yards with the exact same shot. Same joke, same gun. Hmm. You the only thing you've changed on that gun was the red dot. Yeah, and that's and I'm just zeroing it. Yeah. So Okay. interesting. Now I'm curious to see what number six is. Okay guys, so we finally figured it out. I want to show you real quick and then we're going to sign off here. We got buddies here ready to shoot. So I had Brandon because I moved it up just a hair. Aim for eyeball and that is perfect. It's right, I mean center of that 
is right where he aimed. Okay. Now, we'll go over here to 50. There's a lot more green on the target. It could probably even go up a little higher. But I'd rather be on at zero. I'd rather be on at 20. I mean, that's a dead bird. So that's a lot better. Yeah. So we'll call her quits. You're not even going to use that thing anyway. That's <laughs> true. I'm going to use my 20 the whole time. <laughs> that is true. So, uh, okay. So what all do we get accomplished today? So we got Tyler's gun shot. Yep. And realize that he's a red dot. <laughs> we got your Stevens, still good. Yep. Your my 12 gauge, good. Good to go. And your 12, re, re 12 is good to go. Yep. So four guns, good. Well, three guns, good. One needs a red dot. Yeah. But we have figured out something. Mossberg. Please do something with your adjustments. Yeah. Because you look through our red dots, we literally took the front sight post off of the Yeah, I Kyle. just took that off. He told, he's like, the fiber optic is like, throws you off. So on a sunny day like this, it's like bright green. But so you'll have your bright green dot here. Look, your bright green dot, and then where the red dot is, is like here. So you see two different dots. So he just took off the green. So it yeah. shot a lot better. Does throw you off. Because so, you're in your head, I'm going, this is nowhere near. Exactly. And like with the Stevens right here, though, the red dot is directly in line with the gold bead up front, which I don't focus on that. I'm not lining them up. Yeah. They're parallax free red dots. It doesn't matter. But when you're looking through the red dot, it does it throw does you off. It does distract you. Yeah. Especially the bright green. Yeah. Dot. That fiber optic is so bright. So, so you know what? Right. And these red dots, if you buy a, 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 a red dot worth its salt. Bush now makes good ones. Burris makes it. You buy yeah. a red dot that's worth anything, it's not going to fail on you in the woods. It's just not going to happen. No. So. I got this actually um, in the combo. So I got the RX, the RX 100 and my binoculars. I found it on the end of the deal. It was like an end of the year deal. And I didn't barely pay any money for it. And it's been great. Yeah. All right, guys. We are done. I, I am done shooting turkey loads until it's at a turkey's yep. beak i'm not doing it yep, yep. i'm done i'm done until that point so anyway guys we will see you we might have to load some video we're gonna get this up and we're gonna get yeah. some older videos from last year from years past we're gonna get some turkey videos up there i still have that turkey video of them flogging the decoys and yeah yeah time. we'll try to put those in somewhere yeah. uh, hopefully try to see get get those in there somewhere maybe put it as a short or something on the channel so because it's a short video you know uh but yeah we will here and what's today today is april 9th i think we got what me and Br me and nate are leaving for arkansas on why am i still wearing these I don't know. <laughs> i'm probably yelling uh it's probably good because the wind the wind does make it louder we are leaving april the day after Easter, whatever day that is. I can't remember. The, the day after Easter or the night of Easter, we're leaving. So then we will be heading to Arkansas. And then when we get back, might try to hunt Missouri a little bit. And then and I, me, him, and Tyler are going to meet Nate at his ranch. Well, and then Tyler and I might go open weekend. The 16th. You can, but we can. When? That opening weekend. The weekend. Oh, oh, you might go hunting. I see. Yeah, I see. That opening weekend. Remember, well, you, you definitely open. should. Got, you you should go smack up. one in the mouth. You got told you could. Yeah, I, I did. And, I uh, did. So me and Tyler might. You might see yeah. Tyler, right? Yeah. Heck yeah. So hey guys, Kyle and Brandon, Plants and Outdoors. Stay tuned. Rest of turkey season. Shut up.